is Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be discussing how we can get our phone to be popping with the new iOS 14 update I honestly really love this update and I spent all day <laughs> like trying to figure out how to make my phone cute and I finally found a way I have found a way that I feel like is easy but at the same time I feel like I can complicate things so we'll figure it out together but I'm gonna basically do a quick screen recording of my phone so you guys can see how I did it what kind of my aesthetic was for my phone as you can tell I really wanted to do brown I don't know I just love brown and I thought that it'd be really cute so I have some satin on some of my apps that sounds so weird I have satin on some of my apps I have some desert type vibes like so I'm basically going to show you guys how I did this and also how I got the widget smith to work because when I tell you this took me hours but it didn't need to take me hours because it took me two seconds once I figured it out so but whatever so let's just go ahead and get right into this video so we can all have popping phones popping iPhones right now so the first thing I think that I really want to focus on is the apps so basically what you're going to be doing if you want to get your apps to have a different cover I'm gonna call that a different cover of the app so you I'm gonna screen record so I'm gonna look up shortcuts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the upper right hand corner and I'm going to click the addition sign. So once I do that, I'm going to I'm going to click open. I'm going to type in the search bar open app. And once I do that, it's going to create like a new column that says scripting and it says open and then it says choose. So what you're going to do is click the word choose and all of your apps are going to pop up. I'm going to try and pick an app that I, I didn't do. So I'm going to do voice memos, right? So then we're going to click on the upper right hand corner next shortcut name. So I chose voice memos. So I kept all my app names the same. So let's say Twitter's Twitter, Instagram is Instagram. But if you want to name it like voice memos, hashtag T, whatever. So I click done and that's that. You're going to see it pop up in the upper left hand corner of the app. You're going to hold it down. You're going to click details. Um, then you're going to click add to home screen. The name should be already edited, but if it's not, you can just add the name once again. I'm going to click on the photo that it gives me. and It's going to give me three options. Take photo, choose photo, or choose file. I'm going to choose a photo. So I'm going to just choose something that's I don't think I really used yet. I don't know. I'm going to just choose this cloud photo and I'm going to click add. I'm going to click done to make sure that I'm done. So I'm going to go to my home screen to see it, and you're going to see it over there in the upper right hand corner. And then of course you can hold it down, edit home screen and add it anywhere on your phone where you would like. Seems easy enough, right? Took me like two hours to figure out, but that's fine. The fact that I just explained that in like two seconds and it took me like three hours to find out is quite frustrating, but it's fine. So next what we want to figure out is the widget, the widget smith. So first of all, so the widget smith is basically what you saw on my screen where it has the calendar. It says Monday the 21st, September 21st. So that is your widget smith. It says widget smith underneath. So that is an app that you need to go into the app store and download. It is free. So once you download the app, we're going to start screen recording once again. I'm going to look it up because um, I don't I don't know where my apps are right now because um, I didn't edit that one. So we're going to go to Widget Smith and I'm going to add a medium widget, right? So I'm going to go, I'm on my second screen because my first one already has one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold down the weather app and I'm going to click edit home screen. You can hold down any app and do this. And in the upper left hand corner, you will see a plus sign. You will click that plus sign. And you will scroll all the way down to where you see Widget Smith. I click on Widget Smith. I click on Medium. Or I'm going to click Add Widget, and there it is, right? But let's say, oh my god, I want it to be, let's say, I want to do it like I have the first one, right? So I'm going to click Edit Widget, and I'm going to click on where it says widget and it says home screen next to it. Home screen is the name of one that I have already created but I didn't use. So I'm gonna just do the same one that I did so you guys see the difference. So medium number two is the name of that widget. And there you go, it just pop, pops right back like that and you have your widget. 
I think that is all I needed to say. I can't believe I did this in five minutes. Um, wow, I, it, it took me some time to learn. But what I also do want to make sure that when you guys are going into the shortcuts app on your phone and you're adding a shortcut and you're adding like an action, you want to make sure how, like how I did it. You don't want to just type in the name of the app. You want to type in open app, click on open app, and then it's going to give you all of your apps that you have downloaded onto your phone. And that is the best way to add that shortcut because if you don't, then what I did first was like, let's say I added messages and it was like, okay, add, send message, add this, that. And then it wouldn't like, if I clicked on the shortcut, it wouldn't go directly to the app. So that was quite frustrating, but then I figured out you have to go to open app first. So that is that. And I believe that is all that I have done so far. I just rearranged the apps, you know, the simple, you hold down an app, you edit the home screen. I did it like that. I'm gonna start screen recording again right now. As you guys can see, and as I said, I did go for the brown aesthetic for my phone. So I did like my main apps on my first screen. So calendar, Google Photos, camera photos, and clock. They all have like a satin, um, background and then FaceTime just has mood notes has these pretty brown pencils that I found on Pinterest um, reminders has love yourself because my reminders really have to do with just daily things that I need to do to keep myself in check um, let's say I like to do my Gmail YouTube YouTube studio and snapchat I did those all the same I did my SoundCloud, my Musi, and my Apple Music app, the same, like Chanel background. I thought that was really cute. Weather, I found some cute cloud backgrounds. So quickly, I guess I'll just show you guys also how I searched up on Pinterest. So I'm going to screen record. So I literally did brown aesthetic. Oh, I don't know how to spell. Aesthetic background. And I found a lot of the ones that I used on here. As you see me scrolling down, there's a lot of different options that you have. Like, see, there's the um, brown silk one that I used for some of my apps. You see some seashells, some pretty water that I actually like. And I'm mad I didn't put, but I could always switch it. But that's kind of that. So if you want to look up something, so it's, let's say you want to do like, um, we'll screen record again. Let's say you want to do pink aesthetic background you'll just type that into pinterest and you find that oh my god the first one is so pretty but you'll find that and then what you'll do is you'll just click the little three arrows and you'll click like save or download and then you'll be able to do that and it'll be in your camera roll for you to upload when you are doing your apps i hope this video gave you guys some help um i cannot believe i literally was able to explain this in such a short amount of time because the amount of time it just took me to learn this astronomical but I'm happy that I'm able to relay this information to you guys so let me know if this video was detailed enough for you guys like to help out I hope that I explained it well I hope I didn't sound just like I don't know I hope I just did a really detailed explanation because I needed a damn detailed explanation but you guys let me know what you guys think down below I hope I was able to help someone because I know it's frustrating because you want to have the cute little widgets and all that and I just figured out the widgets five minutes ago and I've been doing this for five hours. So, but don't worry. I got, I got your back. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And why did I say it like that? Hold on. Bye. It is 12 in the morning. I need to go to sleep. But I'm too busy messing with my phone, so. know what they're doing because i am up at night messing with my phone when i should be sleeping like come on now